Good morning, my friends. It's Nanny, and today's video is going to be all about makeup. My Walmart haul makeup, trying to find a good no makeup makeup, something that isn't heavy, no foundation, and trying to stay away from a bronzer. It all started a couple of days ago when I was doing a fashion show <clears throat> with, with one of my other videos, a cute fashion show. And I started the video in the morning after I had brought Moosey's cereal outside to him. He was out watching the birds. And my video kept going off, on and off. And I thought, what's that? And all of a sudden I looked up on the camera and it said, Moose. So I thought, oh, something's wrong. I shut the camera off and went outside. He's, and I had forgotten to bring his heated up Cinnabon. So I went inside, heated up the bun, brought it out, came inside. Well, later in the afternoon, my moosey said, did you have that makeup on this morning when you did the video? And I said, yeah, why? What's wrong? Didn't you like it? And he said, no, it didn't look like what I'm used to with you. So that began my quest for products that I bought this past week. I've decided that maybe sticks and creams are the way to go. So I've gotten all these little things that I'm trying to do with my face and I'm gonna share them all with you. We're gonna do some experiments and try-ons. I also have another recipe for you and I can't decide whether it's going to be my famous quiche. Plus, I have more items from Walmart that I didn't show you that are going to be in a fashion show. So, let's get this video started. Now, I do want to show you one of the outfits, or actually it's one of the tops that I got at Walmart last week for $5. And I'm going to probably model it today with some white pants or maybe as an all black look with the black clots that I picked up as well. I'm gonna try and just stand up just a wee bit to show you, but it's nice, it fits well, and it's loose the way I like these sweaters. Very nice for a summer type of a sweater. My jewelry today is from my collection of Southwestern jewelry. This has the um, turquoise and coral in it. I try and keep it, it, it twists a little bit. I tried to have it restrung, but it didn't. Moosey is going to stop by for a little cameo and explain what he meant when he said he didn't like my makeup. I just noticed um, on a previous clip that I have too much of that rosy eye makeup on. Do you like the plain, no foundation look? I have a little of my shine on, which I, I love, as you know, and I do have some uh, blush, cream blush on my cheeks, no bronzer and no foundation. It's softer, and I think Moosey might like it too. So we'll try and recreate this look later on during the makeup. I haven't filled in my eyebrows yet. I will show you that wonderful stick. As you know, my eyebrows are losing hairs in the middle. I've changed my outfit to one of those shirts I bought the other day. And this is that ribbed dolman sleeve sweater that uh, I think I paid $3 for this one at Walmart. And today I've paired it with a, a soft scarf and uh, a pin from Scotland. Uh, kind of an antique, Cairn Gormstone from the mountains in Scotland. And as I was putting on my lovely stone bracelet this morning, um, it broke. So I have to have this done. It's a silver backed stone that sort of matches the color of, of my scarf. I think I might have mentioned before that Moosey and I live in a little uh, 90 year old adobe cottage on our youngest daughter's property. Uh, kind of high up in the hills and we overlook, we have a beautiful view of, of, of the mountain. Love the locations up around Colleen's house and around here outside. 
just a little extra for the, the fashion show, just to make it a little bit nicer. So Moosey is here to explain exactly what he did not like when he saw me outside with my foundation on. He doesn't feel as if he's camera ready. His makeup man did not show up for the day. Yeah, or his, my hairdresser. Or his hairdresser or his clothes did not arrive back from the um, the wardrobe department. So he, he's going to speak with me on camera just for a, a few minutes. Well, I guess I'm just not used to makeup on you for 50, 60 years. <laughs> you're not a makeup person and you were doing this tutorial I think both for yourself and for your for your visit your viewers and you were just laying it on one layer to me I don't know well I mean, it was one was good not, layer <laughs> excuse me one good layer of foundation one good thick <laughs> <laughs> but it was just not a look I, I'm used to you're an outdoor girl, you have a fresh look, and you came out, and I was watching the birds, and you sort of leaned over, and I looked, and I just, just about jumped out of my skin. <laughs> was it that scary? It was so, remember that television show when they had the Frankenstein? And the, oh my God, was it that bad? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so foundation on a mature lady is maybe the young people too, I don't know. But it is not good in the sunshine. Well, it looked good inside on the camera when we looked at it, but not outside. No. And as Moo says, he's used to me being out gardening with him. Um, we have our coffee and breakfast uh, together a lot of times in the morning, watching the birds. We're out in the afternoon. Um, two year, two hour, two mile run. Oh, my two mile run outside. Just kidding, not that long. I go up and down a, a hill. But he's not used to me. Even even when we're around the house inside, um, I don't wear makeup. Most times, um, a, a little cheeky blush, something in the eyes. I always like a little something oh, in the sick. eyes because my eyes are so pale, they do disappear if I don't have something on. But but you didn't object to the eyes though, right? No, never did, nor, nor a little lipstick either. But yeah, he likes my dark lipstick too. Today I have a pinky. I put a plumper on. Do my lips look more kissable? Yes, it's always kissable. <laughs> well, thank you, Moose, for explaining it in a, a sweet way. And um, that's about it with the no makeup makeup outdoor I look. I'm going to make the quiche again. I hope Moosey will like it. Well, here it is, right out of the oven. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to wash everything off and we're going to start my get ready with me. Um, I started this morning with my cacao oil. I've just taken my makeup off, well, my no makeup makeup off uh, with one of my uh, vitamin C cloths and gotten everything off. So this is bare face. And I started this morning with cake. Now I like the castor oil just as much. I love my Manuka oil, my Manuka honey, 
oil, but I have to save that because that's expensive. So I will put a little bit of the cacay on now because my face is so dry. All right, I'm putting it on. I have, as you know, terribly dry skin and I always have to use more than what they say. And I do need oils and creams constantly on my face. So I have to be careful not to get this one under your eyes because I it stung a little bit this morning. I got it too close to my eyes. So there we go with the cacao oil. Bring it down. I don't want to get makeup on my shirt. Just... What I used this morning, <clears throat> and this is really funny. Uh, this is Rose Glow and it's almost gone. And it's a product to put the glasses on. It's made by Revlon and it's a hydrating primer. Now, I really didn't notice any, um, any coverage, I didn't think, but then when I looked later on my face, it looked pretty good. The first, since I do have some of these little things on my, my face here and there, I do go over them with a, a little of the concealer stick, and I believe this one is an e.l.f. one. Now, you know what, I can't see. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my new makeup mirror. Remember this I showed you? It's very magnified, so this is gonna help me. So I'm gonna go over my little boo-boos on my cheek with this, just a little bit. I like to just go right in the corners of the eyes. I can see over here. That's about it. Maybe here, not too heavy. So I'm gonna blend it in. I see some of the women wait a while to let that stuff kind of sink in, but so I can't see whether it's covered well enough, but a few little dots here and there. I put this Rose Glow Primer on, the Revlon Primer, but I noticed that I have several of the um, e.l.f. primers, tinted uh, primers that I've gotten, and I can hardly be able to get some out here. I wonder if I will, because this was the look that I kind of wanted to, to do. Just a little bit on the cheekies. A little bit more. No, nope, don't have too much more here. Put it on up here really is very light it's it's supposed to give a glow i don't think it's very tinted at all that's the point i didn't see much tint with this but we'll see if it gives me my glow now, this is probably wiping off any concealer that i put on because it's it is wet i'm just gonna pull it down a little i did put on one of the little elf cheek blushes this morning. I don't know whether this is the color or not. I do like my shine, so I will use my shine stick. So I'm going to kind of dot it here. I do like color too. So let's see if we can get this. The idea is not to do too much, but you know, because it's a blush cream stick, I don't think Moosey's going to object. On this particular situation about the heavy makeup the other day outside, he was right. Not always, but he was right about this. So since I'll be doing my fashion show outside in a little while, I'll be filming it. I do want to have this makeup on, although you wouldn't get close enough in the fashion show to see it. Maybe for the summer, it might be nice to do something lighter. So I'm gonna put this on. When I put this on the other day, I tried it. My lips did tingle a little bit, but no way did I get those nice big plumpy lips. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You know, I should have chosen more of a peachy color to match my scarf. I just realized that. The last little thing that I do, and as you know, I love my um, shine. This is a shine stick. 
I've tried to find it on Amazon for everyone, but I think it's discontinued, it's old. However, um, I do have new shine sticks coming. Uh, Elf has a shine stick available in Walmart. Now here's my brightener. Um, you can get brightener sticks like this anywhere, or you can get them in the little tube in a cream. I always like to put it on my cheeks, on the bone going upward, up here on the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, even the tip, and a little bit on the chin. Sometimes I forget to blend it, but I will do that now. Now, as you as you see this morning, I'm working with my fingers and um, I should be using brushes because it might do a nicer job. I have my um, L'Oreal. I think this one is the telescopic. I always like to put a little something underneath my eyes because my eyes are so pale I do need something underneath. I thought before we got busy doing the eyes I better clean up my mascara that I had put on before and and also um, I found my glasses so you'll see how these work and these do help a lot better um, and and I'm going to put some of this palette on once I figured out how to open them. I don't know whether it's my age or what, but it takes me forever to try and open these. I think I'm gonna use this one, the matte, the smaller Nudes of New York, and then maybe go in for a touch of shine on just the middle of the lid after I finish. So I'm gonna leave those open so it doesn't take me three minutes to open them up. And I'm gonna use this little small brush from the Beaky brush collection that I have. I'm going to go ahead before I start with a little bit of, of this Nudes of New York eye makeup. I have to tell you what I just put on. In my Walmart haul, I also bought a Rimmel eyebrow pencil in a very light color. And normally I'd been using these little um, NYX, little teeny tiny paintbrush and painting in the hairs in my, my area here of eyebrows. Now I did one eyebrow and I'm gonna try and pull this forward. Can you see the eyebrow? This pencil did a great job. And now I'm gonna do the other one and um, show you how it came out. Now, if I can use this, I'm gonna put the camera down a little bit down, and I'm gonna do this one eyebrow and um, you can see if I can see in here how I do it. Now what I did was I just brought it in because I've lost probably close to half an inch on each side and I just go straight up with the brush up along the top and we are the joy boys uh -huh. are. guess who just oh. came by i'm doing my makeup for you showing the Thank ladies you. how i'm doing no makeup makeup <laughs> so maybe in a minute you can do your little cameo so we'll be using this i've shown you this before this i got on amazon these glasses i used to have them years ago and you put one eye down and you have the magnification on the other eye which helps you to do the the trick here you know what? I think they'd work better if I cleaned them. So I think I'll start with um, one of these light colors right now because I wiped off the other uh, eye makeup and we're going to start from scratch. So I'm going to use my nice little soft brush and I'm going to try and cover the lid. Just a little bit.
but I think that's it. So I fixed my eyebrows. I have some inner eyebrows, have a little bit of a tail, and hopefully the oils have sunk into my skin so it's um, not as greasy looking as it looked when I first put it on. Did I forget anything? I've bought so many other products. If I haven't shown them all to you, I had a nice eyebrow gel too, which I won't do right now. I don't think it's necessary for the outside look. Also found this product, LA Girl, a creamy blush that I bought to stick with the no makeup makeup look. And I will try that one of the next times. So I hope you've enjoyed all the makeup that I picked up at Walmart, a few things that came in the mail. Probably didn't wait long enough after I put my um, cacay oil on. So that's it. That's my look for a no, no makeup, makeup look. Did I? Oh, I'm going to rest for an hour or two and then I'm going to put on some clothes and you'll see a mini fashion show. I love you all. I love our little conversations back and forth. Those of you who have not subscribed yet, please give us a thumbs up and, and join our little family. I'd love it if you are. I appreciate all of you. God bless us all. Bye-bye.